Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Aston Martin CEO, Andy Palmer. Good morning and welcome to Aston Martin Lagonda. This year, Aston Martin celebrates its 102nd birthday. This is a company with a remarkable history, but also a remarkably strong brand that commands respect and affection in equal measure. I'm humbled at the enormous duty I take on to lead such an iconic British brand. Although modest in size by global motor industry standards, it's a company that has a deservedly outsized reputation. This company, this brand, these products inspire everyone who touches them. In accepting to join, I feel the immediate weight of expectation from all of you, from our employees, from our investors, from our dealers and from our customers, past, present and future. Although modest in size by global motor industry standards, it's a company that has a deservedly outsized reputation. This company, this brand, these products inspire everyone who touches them. In accepting to join, I feel the immediate weight of expectation from all of you, from our employees, from our investors, from our dealers and from our customers, past, present and future. Our future therefore needs to be based on a business that is less dependent on a narrow product portfolio and an over-dependence on one type of customer. If we stay with the business as usual, we're artificially restricting Aston Martin to a limited customer offer and therefore to a volume incapable of allowing us to fund a continual renewed contemporary portfolio of power, beauty and soul. We will always strive to create the most beautiful cars in the industry that reflect the sophisticated requirements of our customers and fans. Our product investment is already yielding results. Late last year we delivered significant updates to the Vanquish and the Rapid models and we'll bring more product enhancements to Vantage, DB9 and Rapid later this year. Turning to the cars in front of me, we continue and will continue to build our prowess to create very special, very high value and very, very limited production cars. In recent years, projects like the 177, the CC100 and the Lagonda have demonstrated our ability to tailor products to a very specific and very demanding client base. Having just seen a DB5 convertible realize more than $2 million at auction, we understand very well the importance of lineage to our brand. Avoiding the temptation to only look backwards, we're busy building the future collectible cars. To help me to introduce the first of these next generation collector's cars, I'd like to welcome on stage David King and Marek Reichman. Gentlemen. GT3 Special Edition, then I expect that the Aston Martin Vulcan will leave you truly breathless. The Aston Martin Vulcan is the most extreme supercar that we've ever created. Not only does it have the coolest name in the business, but it's also allowed our designers and engineers to push the boundaries of the brand 
further than ever before. The Aston Martin Vulcan will be strictly limited to 24 cars worldwide and has been created for track use only. Finally, I'd like to turn your attention to what lies beneath this cover. The DBX concept was created to show how Aston Martin will address the needs of a new generation of luxury customers. The DBX concept has been created as a sports crossover and the very, very first all-electric, all-wheel drive, four-seat Aston Martin. Now, to help me unveil DBX, I'd now like to invite representatives of our most important stakeholders to join me on stage, representing our management, our employees, our suppliers, our dealers, and our shareholders. We all share the commitment and the responsibility to not change the brand values of the company, but rather to reshape them and reimagine them for the next decade and for the next century. Thank you very much. 